Hi, I'm David Hamburger, here with the next installment of my True Fire blog. And today, we're checking out a lick inspired by the playing of trumpeter Lee Morgan. We're playing on a blues in F with a straight eighths feel, and this lick goes over the middle four bars of the form, from four back to one. Here's how it sounds. Here it is again. All right, so we're in the key of F. That means our four chord is B flat seven, and we start out there. And we're basically going to play a whole bunch of B flat mixolydian with some chromaticism and bebop ornamentation thrown in. So the first two bars look like this. going on is we start with flat 7, flat 5, 6, and then the fifth for the pull off. And then we come down the scale 4, 3, chromatically half stepping into 2 where we do a hammer on pull off from 2 to 3 and back to 2 and then connect 2 chromatically down with a stretch out of position to the root and then chromatically down to the flat seven, and then jumping up to the nine, and then grabbing six and five. That's the B flat part. Now we're on F, which is a bit more straightforward. In terms of F, now we're playing out of F mixolydian, 4, flat 3, hammering on to 3, to root, to 5, to 4, slide flat 3 to 3, and land on root. So really just two parts, B flat, and then F. Let's hear it again with the track. Okay, so that's how that one goes. There's a lot in there, um, particularly the syncopation at the beginning. These first three notes are all in the offbeat. And then just the way it comes down, uh, if you can picture the chord shape, then you can see that where the chromaticism is happening is from three to two, and from two to one, and then from one to flat seven. So that's what makes it sound so slippery is that really all of this, we're taking three, two, one, flat seven, and filling all of it in with the chromatic half steps. Which sounds great, and what makes it more musical is that instead of just running straight down the chromatic scale, there's all these little hops and jumps. That's what makes it um, interesting, and also um, it's kind of a way of moving down the scale but not getting there quite as fast because you stop to take these little detours. So um, looking at stuff like that um, can give you ideas for how you can apply that kind of chromaticism and that kind of ornamentation elsewhere uh, on any other kind of dominant chord. So that's this week's lick. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. For True Fire, I'm David Hamburger.